Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back again, Mr. Weary, Bridger Middle School. Hope your things are going okay for you. Remember this chart from yesterday? Hopefully you do, because we're going to use the same technique we used to answer the question yesterday as we did today. I want to know, during which time period did the greatest number of enslaved Africans perish during this transatlantic slave trade? You've got four different time periods here. See them? I know you do. The number that left from Africa, the number that arrived in the Americas. Okay. So using that rounding, that estimating technique, round each of these up to give me an estimated number of people that uh, made it across the Atlantic. During which time period did the greatest number of enslaved Africans perish during that voyage? So here's that cool jam if you want to take three minutes to do it. I'm not going to wait for it here, okay? You take the time to do the math. Uh, you ready for the answer? Pause it if you don't have it yet. I'll wait. Okay, hopefully you've paused it and you've got an answer. The correct answer is going to be from the 1701 to the 1800 time period. But I would urge you to consider 1801 to 1867. Had that been a full 99 years like the rest of them, it would have probably been at least equal or more than what died on the other end there. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're going to continue our quest, understanding imperialism and colonization. To do this, we're doing actively learn once again. You'll use Google to sign in the class code EEABU on there. The Imperial March from Colonization to Independence is going to help us to understand how Africa's past has shaped its present and why there is so much conflict in Africa. Let's check it out here, what we got. Now, as Europeans expanded their uh, imperialization, they built colonies. These colonies sent back uh, raw goods, materials to the benefit, not of the countries that they occupied, but to their own countries. Totally not right. That's the way it worked, okay? This map here shows you that 90% of the territory in Africa, of the entire continent, had been taken over and claimed to be Europeans for their benefit, not for the people that live there. So in doing that also, uh, you will find that uh, it also um, takes up quite a bit of uh, their borders that they had before. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. But for today, we're going to go back over to actively learn. And you're going to go not with the roots of imperialism today. No, 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 no. We're doing the imperial march from colonization to independence. Take your clicker and click over this to get you going where you need to go. Don't do them out of order. Do it in this order. So the second one today, the Imperial March from Colonization to Independence. Have a great day today, please.